Welcome guys and uh, today's presentation is on dynamic programming from a textbook DPV and um, the example today is going to be 6.2 solutions to 6.2 so let's dive in all right so um, let's set up the dynamic programming problem in this dynamic programming problem the hotels along the road are set up as A1, A2, and AN distance from the beginning of the road, which let's say is marker zero. And you must stop at the final hotel, which is your destination. And you must travel 200 miles a day. There's a penalty if you don't travel 200 miles a day. Uh, is 200 minus X, whatever distance you traveled that day, 200 minus X whole squared. And the algorithm is to minimize the penalty. So, how do we find the lowest penalty? There's so many combinations. As usual, I like to think of it as how many ways you can put this together and the stops can be picked out from if you have n places and I don't even know how many, so it's probably an exponential problem. I could stop at two places, three places, four places and so on. So n choose one, n choose two, n choose three, n choose four. That's just so many combinations and if I were to compute all possible combinations, this could be very inefficient. So let's take the help of dynamic programming. And if you use dynamic programming, the problem becomes, I instead of thinking of the nth hotel, if I think it's the jth hotel that is my last stop, then I have to compute what is the previous optimal hotel. And I can compute that using this equation that the j -th stop comes from the i -th stop and the penalty going from i to j is 200 minus a i minus a j whole squared so as long as i can do that i can compute over all the previous stops and i can find the best stop from where the j -th could be reached and as long as i can set up this equation i have set up my optimal sub problems and using those sub problems i can solve the problem so to solve for the problem, what we can do is we can set up this matrix or a table here. And in this table, I have columns as the hotels and J equals one, J equals two, and J equals N are my hotels. And on the row axis or the Y axis, I have set up what was my previous stop and all possible stops are set up here. So let's just take the example of J equals one. If let's say when I start, from the origin and I want to reach and stop that night at the first hotel and let's say first hotel was the place of my rest that day then the uh, penalty was you know zero is saying that I never stopped anywhere from the beginning or the origin where the cost was zero I basically stopped at the first hotel and if I stopped at the first hotel, the cost or the penalty is 200 minus A1 whole squared. None of the other options make sense because I could not have stopped at hotel one because hotel one was the stop and the cost here does not mean anything. So the cost then, how do you set this up? You may ask. So what you do is you take the minimum over all these rows for this column, J equals one for the first hotel and you write it down here in the top column that's how you get the minimum all these are the values and remember to write the minimum over here for all these and then you move on to the next column which is the hotel two now think of it this way logically if i started at the zeroth point i imagine either stopping at hotel one or what if you didn't stop at hotel one and so there's only two options either i started at zero and i stopped at one and then i stopped at two or i started at zero and just stopped at two so the zero indicates that I never stopped in the middle. I started and just stopped at total two. And the one indicates that I stopped at total one and then stopped at total two. So I know that the sub problems are set up. If I came from zero, then the answer is 200 minus A2 whole squared. But if I uh, stopped at A1, uh, hotel one, then the cost is basically the C1 plus 200 minus A2 minus A1 whole squared. And so I can compute the minimum over these two rows and store it here as C2. And then so on and so on till I reach the nth column, which is the hotel N. 
and at that point I have computed the value of the solution whatever lies here is the answer and voila you have solved the problem of finding the minimum cost for staying minimum penalty for staying at the last hotel or reaching the last hotel in this case so um, dynamic programming has now given us order and squared algorithm to solve the problem and so that's it guys for this problem and hope you liked and enjoyed it and if you did please hit subscribe on the channel and I'll keep bringing you more videos in the same series of dynamic programming and cover um, more interesting problems down in the same chapter and if there is any specific problem that you'd like to see solutions to please do leave in comments and I will review them. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time. Bye-bye.